how's it going guys? Just completed my first week of marathon training. So I'm really excited. I was able to hit all of my workouts this week and I was able to get all the runs done that I was supposed to. So this was my plan this week, three miles, three hill repeats, three miles, 30 minutes tempo, rest day, five miles at race pace, and then 10 miles this morning. So I was able to get all those done. The one I was most worried about was the five miles at race pace. Um, my goal, of course, being like a 650 pace uh, to uh, run a sub three hour marathon. So I was actually kind of nervous um, whether I was going to be able to run that 650 pace for five miles without stopping. And I'm happy to say that I was able to do that. So that was a confidence boost. But the night before, I was actually, you know, kind of... Uh, kind of worried about it. Um, I was kind of worried about, you know, failing, you know, not being able to do it. Um, and so I just had to get my mindset into, okay, just, you know, treat tomorrow like a race day, like, you know, uh, wear the shoes you're going to wear, wear like, you know, the shorts that I want to wear, just something, you know, to get me stoked to do this workout, you know, cause it was definitely not something I was looking forward to. So I wore the Vaporfly 4%. Um, it's the obsidian color. It's a uh, version one of the Vaporfly. It's not the fly knit or anything like that. But the key was to, I wanted to wear something that I knew I was gonna feel comfortable in going fast in. So that was why I chose to run in the Vaporfly for that day. And uh, it held up well. Um, for the next percent versus the 4% to me, the next percent feels like it has a little bit more stability to it. Um, and of course the heel to toe drop is a little bit different on the two of those, um, compared to each other, but I think, um, the Vaporfly 4% actually felt really great for that workout and I'd be comfortable doing more workouts at that pace in them again. So I'll have to keep that in mind for next, uh, next week. I think I have, um, looks like, um, uh, looks like on Thanksgiving, I was supposed to do three miles of pace. So that's not too bad. Um, this next week is Thanksgiving week. Um, I also work at a running store and race management company. So we actually have a really busy week ahead of us. We do a turkey trot every year on Thanksgiving. We have the 5K and 10K. So we've got that coming up this week. And usually that's about 2,000 people. Um, so it's, you know, pretty big event. But actually that's not the biggest event of this next coming week. Uh, the biggest event for us is Space Coast Marathon. Um, which is close to 6,000 people. So we've got that going on a week from today, December 1st. So there's packet pickup all throughout the week in the store. And, you know, people are just getting ready to run the races they've been training for. So I'm excited. I, I love working races. Um, I, I love running races as well. But it's really exciting for me to be a part of um, just all the local 5Ks, 10Ks, half marathons. Um, but this is our biggest event of the year, the Space Coast full marathon and half marathon. I think this race has been going for 49 years now. And um, it's great themed um, this year. It's for uh, NASA's Space Project Gemini, which is their second space flight mission. That's the focus of this year's uh, race. I was a part of making the countdown videos and the um, pre-race videos. Um, so I was able to edit all this old 1960s footage of these uh, rocket flights, which is pretty exciting and got to learn a little bit more about the program myself in the making of the videos. So that was a lot of fun for me. Um, but like I said, this isn't, this isn't uh, my race. My goal race is in March. Um, so for me, this is fun to be a part of other people's, you know, races they've been training for. So be a busy week in the store um, and then busy weekend uh, expo and you know set up take down it's a uh, it's a long week for us so uh, December 1st is the race and then December 3rd I fly out to go to the running event in Austin Texas so I get to see a lot of new shoes coming out from vendors and you know different uh, running technologies that will all be at this expo the whole week and so I'm excited to share that with you guys too so guys, just some advice if you're ever really dreading a workout, um, just get in the mindset like, you know, this is, you're doing all this for your goal race. So you want to hit that goal and this is how you're going to get there and, you know, treat it as like a race day almost, you know, get your stuff all set together the night before, what you're going to wear, what shoes you're going to wear, something you're going to feel fast in, something you're going to feel comfortable um, throughout that workout and you can do it, you know, you just got to try and hey man, you know, there's nothing wrong with failing, you know, and it's, it's one day we have 
bad days where we don't run well and we have great days where we don't run great and it's not luck or bad luck it's all of you know what we can accomplish if you have a great day it's not because you had a lucky day you have the ability to do that so you know stay strong keep your head up all right guys well thanks for watching this video i appreciate it you know you can follow along with my marathon journey here on youtube you can also follow me on instagram at john mccarr ii and thanks for watching this video guys you have a great day take care <laughs>